This is the course overview and classroom expectations for freshman honors English for Mrs. Cook. To begin, I want to talk about the class description. This class is intended to prepare you for sophomore honors English and also for AP language composition and AP Lit. So really, there's stepping stones for these courses. The assumption is, is that if you're in freshman honors English that you will be going on to sophomore honors and then later on AP classes. As a result, the course is very rigorous. Um, you can expect about 10 to 20 pages of reading a night. Generally, it's about 10 to 15, um, but sometimes we have longer reading assignments. Also, there's a lot of writing, um, a lot of analysis, and quizzes and tests. And it's really a great year, a great class, and I'm going to teach you so much about how to read um, beyond just the story and the plot and the characters and you know why these characters why this setting etc but like i said it will be very rigorous to be prepared for class you need to be at class on uh, at class on time every day and you need to have a blue or black pen and a pencil um, all of your assignments must be done in blue black or pencil um, loose leaf paper a spiral notebook for this class only. It only needs to be one of the 70 page cheapy notebooks. Um, don't go out and buy a huge notebook because you won't use all the pages in it. Also, you need a binder that is for this class only. So please don't put assignments for other classes in it. And I would like you to have dividers labeled in this order. Current unit, writing, literary terms, grammar, and old units. Make sure you have some post-it notes. You always need to have the current novel in class with you and then an assignment notebook. Or if you're taking down your assignments with your phone, you may do that as well. I have no problem if you want to take a picture of the board where the assignments are posted, that is fine with me. Just make sure you're writing down the assignments each day. Late work. Obviously, I would prefer everything be in on time. However, life doesn't always allow for that. And so I've created what I call the real life late work policy. Basically, it's kind of like paying bills. If you pay your bill on time, you only owe what's due. If you pay it late, you owe what's due plus a fine. And if you don't pay it at all, well then you get sent to collections, which is the equivalent of a zero. So how this translates for assignments, if you complete the assignment in its entirety, along with an extra portion, I call it the late portion of an assignment, and you hand it in within two days of the due date, you can still receive full credit. So for instance, if I gave you a sheet with like three quotes on it that you had to explain, I would then give you a fourth quote as the late assignment, and you still have to hand that in to me within two days of the due date, and you would still receive full credit. Um, you can complete just the assignment itself, not do the late part, and hand it in within two days of the due date, but as a result, you're gonna lose 20% of your grade because somehow I need to get a fine from you, whether it be a little extra work or a deduction in your grade. And then, of course, you always have the option to not hand in anything at all, which will then result in a zero. Um, this does not apply to major assignments, so papers are due on the due date, um, or you can hand them in one day late for a 10% deduction in grade. Um, also, I will not accept this for annotation checks. Annotation checks are due on the day that they are collected, or it's a zero. Additionally, if I do a pop annotation check, I expect your book to be in class every day. And if you don't have it, it's a zero. These pop annotation checks generally are no more than 10 points, so please don't have an anxiety attack over it. But really, you have to make sure that you have the assignment in class every day, and that book is it's your text. You need to have it with you all the time. Um, additionally, we will use Turnitin.com, and if you don't submit your papers to Turnitin.com, you'll receive a zero on that assignment. We'll talk about that more later with Turnitin.com, um, so don't worry about it at the moment. Attendance, basically be here. If you're not here, you're responsible to see me for your missed assignments. Please see me before or after class. Don't raise your hand in the middle of class and say, oh, I need what we did yesterday, um, because it just takes away educational time from everybody else. Also, you need to see me the day you return. Don't come to me three days later. Please come see me the day you return, because I can't remember everyone who's absent and for how long, because I have 120 students. Um, if you're absent on the due date of a major assi assignment, 
you are to hand it in the day you return. So for instance, if we've been working on a paper for two weeks and you happen to be absent on the due date, it's due the day you return. Um, unless you make arrangements with me before you return to school. Also, it's re your responsibility to make up your work in a timely fashion. I'm not going to ask you for it. It's your responsibility to come to me with it. The school policy is that you get one day for each day you're absent. So if you're absent on Thursday, you return on Friday, the assignments then due on Monday. Um, going on, all assignments that are assigned prior to your absent are due on the day you return. So if you're at school on Wednesday and you get an assignment, you're absent on Thursday, the assignment is then due on Friday when you return to class. Also, you have to make up tests and quizzes within the allotted time. Again, it's one day for every day absent. And I will write you a test or a pass to the resource room or the testing center where you can make up that test. Getting a hold of me. Emailing is a fabulous way to get a hold of me. Um, generally, I check it at least once a night at home. That's not always a rule of thumb, but pretty much I do. Um, so feel free to contact me with questions regarding your coursework, grades, et cetera, especially grades. If you notice something is wrong in PowerSchool, please email me about that. Therefore, that way I can actually have it right in front of me on the computer and make the change right away. Um, if you just tell me about it in class, uh, no guarantee I'm going to remember to get back to the gradebook and change it. Now, if you're opting to email me, please use proper email format. Include your name. I need to know who you are. Use proper spelling, capitalization, sentence structure. Remember, you are emailing an English teacher, not your best friend. There's a time and a place for text language. Emailing your English teacher is not it. Um, flip videos. We are going to be doing flipped videos throughout the year, and you will be required to watch these videos, and you'll be required for the content in them. The reason why is because these videos are providing the background information for in-class activities. Also, they allow for more class time in, or in work, I'm sorry, in class work time and teacher assistance. And it also allows you the freedom of going back to the video time and time again if you need additional instruction. Um, if you don't have internet access, don't worry about that. We can arrange for you to watch the videos in the library, in the resource room, or even in my classroom before or after school. The resource room is in room 237, and this is a place where students can go for assistance with writing, annotating, grammar, reading assistance, or even just as a place to go and sit and read or sit and work on a paper so that they have an English teacher at their disposal if they have any questions. Um, cell phones, they're going to be used at my discretion. Again, you may take a picture of the assignment board if you want to for keeping track of assignments, but don't have them out at all times. Grades, it's a standard uh, scale. 50% of your grade is made up of major assessments, which are tests, papers, and projects, and the other 50% is your daily work. Plagiarism, if you're caught cheating or copying an assignment from a peer or from any other source, if any part of your paper comes from the internet or from another source. It will be a zero and I will be contacting your parents as well as the dean. Last but not least, respect. I very highly value respect. I think it is of the utmost importance, especially in a classroom with 26 students in it. If you respect me and your peers, you are going to receive the same respect in return and we will have a lot of fun while really learning a lot of information. Um, if you have any questions concerning the class or the coursework, please contact me because I am here to help you. Again, feel free to email me with any questions. Make sure you and your parent sign this sheet and bring it back to me by Wednesday.